Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make cheese. The reason I'm going to make cheese is because I had cheese. I had chow cheese, which I like. And I brought it to work so I can make a wrap at work. And then it was Friday and I was supposed to bring it home. And I didn't. So now I have no cheese in my house. And it's Friday, and I really want to eat some cheese on the weekend. So, we're going to try to make some. It might suck, because the recipe looks a lot like the recipe for Alfredo sauce that I made a couple weeks ago. And the Alfredo sauce, I thought, when I first made it, I thought it was really gross. But then, after it had been sitting in the fridge for a few days, oops, somebody takes me. After it had been sitting in the fridge for a few days, it actually tasted good. So, maybe it's the same with the cheese, which won't really fix my problem of not having cheese on the weekend, will it? But anyhow, I'm going to use this recipe that looks really popular for um, vegan pepper jack cheese. But, obviously not going to put any peppers in it because I fucking hate spicy food. I might put some chipotle pepper spice, which has well, like a little tiny bit spicy and really smoky flavored. Um, which I heard about from Jamie Eason on her Lip Fit blog. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. So I got the recipe right here on my phone. On Baked In, the first website that I saw it on on my computer was on a, it doesn't taste like chicken, but it was the same picture. It's the same blog after it, so I don't know. Anyhow, it looks really good. I don't have any agar powder, but I think I could just use cornstarch. Um, so, yep, there we go. Gonna get started. It says you're supposed to soak your almonds, uh, not your almonds, your cashews, but... I ain't gonna soak my cashews because I ain't got time for that shit. Hopefully I have half a cup of cashews, otherwise I'm gonna have to cut this recipe in half. Ah, this is how much cashews I have left. Let's see if it's half a cup. Everything is not in its place. A lot of stuff's in the dishwasher. And I just went to go use the kitchen scissors. And even though everything's clean, the kitchen scissors are missing. And that makes me upset. I wouldn't be upset if they were just missing, but it's the fact that everything is clean and they're still missing. It's like, what the fuck is point in cleaning if everything's going to be a disaster? So, okay, that is definitely half a cup. Right? There's no point in saving like three cashews. I'm just going to put it all in. Okay, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. Perfect. Usually I get vanilla almond milk, but I've been cooking a lot. I got not vanilla this time. Because it's always kind of weird when you make it like a savory food and then they're like, hmm, there's like a hint of vanilla in there. I'm looking for the liquid missing. Got it. I thought this was going to be kind of weird at first because the camera was like cutting off my head, but I didn't want to see my face. Let's see the food, right? Don't put the milk in the cabinet. It's not good. Okay, so basically it says to put all this stuff in the food processor, I'm assuming. Set aside a loaf pan for pouring the cheese aside ahead of time? Why would I set that aside ahead of time when I could just pull it out of the cupboard when I need it? 
Not like I have 20 counters. Soap cashews, drain cashews, combined cashews, almond milk, lemon juice, tahini, yeast, salt, onion powder, and garlic powder in a blender. Okay. Cashews, check. Almond milk, check. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. This shit is going to taste disgusting. But whatever. We're going to follow the recipe the first time. And then next time I make it, I'll do whatever I want. This is not the healthiest way to get your lemon juice, but I bought fresh lemons, and I did use them all before they went bad. I had like little cuts all over my hands from gardening, and I'll have like a special uh, thing, I don't know, lemon squeezer or whatever. I don't plan on buying one of those. I'll just stick. I guess I've been using it a lot. Two, really? Three tablespoons? Like, let me add a lemon juice. I don't want lemon flavored cheese. I'm not putting the rest in. Oh, I said I would follow the recipe. Okay, I'll put the rest in. For you guys. But I think it's going to be gross. I'm going to have to put that chipotle pepper spice in. Otherwise, what's going to cover up all this lemon? Okay. Lemon juice tahini. I need two tablespoons of tahini. Tahini, ah, I got from Sprouts. It's like a layer of oil. I don't think shaking it's gonna help. Probably gonna have to stir it. I don't know. Shaking it seems to be working. Ooh, shaky, 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 shaky. I hope this video is entertaining enough that I don't have to cut it because I don't know. I don't know how to do that yet. Okay. Last time I put tahini in something, it came out really bitter and gross. Two tablespoons of tahini. Eighth of a cup, two tablespoons, same thing. Oh, I'm going to make a mess on my table. Okay, here we go. Yes, I made it. I like that you don't have to keep the tahini in the fridge. Last time I bought tahini, I guess I had to keep it in the fridge. And uh, I threw it away. There was, I mean, if I'm not using it on a regular basis, it should not be in my fridge. Because I have limited space. <laughs> just wash everything as I go because otherwise I'm gonna have a disaster but I think I will not do that for the, for the sake of this being on a video probably not the best to stop every two minutes and wash stuff so lemon juice done tahini done what's next nutritional yeast a fourth of a cup a fourth of a cup that's a lot Does it smell like cheese? It does. It smells like nuts. Cheese is already made out of nuts. Whatever. It does have B12 in it, which is good if you're vegan. Needs me some B12. Last thing I want to do is have to go to the doctor. Shoot. It's like a doctor's already on the sick for like a week. Okay. Check. Next. Next is the good part. Salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. So salt, one teaspoon. 
Is this all professional or what? Like I have all my spices all lined up. How cute. Okay. Which one is Ew, the teaspoon one's all dirty. Why did I put it back in the cabinet all dirty like that? Gross. Alright. Oh yeah, I just remembered the teaspoon one doesn't fit inside the salt. <laughs> Who cares? Okay, two half teaspoons of salt. One and a half teaspoons of onion powder. Oh, I'm already using the half one, so I'm good. Now normally I would like double or triple the garlic. Cause that's like one of my main food groups, garlic, but uh, I'll do you guys a favor and follow the recipe just this one time. Just this one time. Two. Three. One and a half teaspoons. Okay. Mmm, that smells good. You know when I'm when I'm craving garlic when I'm craving cheese, it could be that I'm just craving garlic. Oh, I forgot to put the thing back on. You know that would be a disaster when I'm like cooking really fast and I go to shake some um uh, just go to shake some onion in there and I get like the whole bottle because it doesn't have the shaker on it. One time I bought turmeric and it didn't have the shaker on the inside. Well, I still have it. I still use it. But like the first time I went to make something, I put like half the bottle of turmeric and it was disgusting. I had to like try to scoop it out. It's like, what the fuck? Okay. One and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. And I think we're going to have to do some cooking for this cheese. The cutting is... Okay, combine this stuff in a blender, blend until creamy, leave it in the blender, and then comes the part where we have to make stuff on the stove. Okay. All right, here we go. Did it say how long to blend this for? Just until it's combined and creamy. All right. This one I did not. Combine combine water and agar powder on on in a small saucepan and bring to a boil. Lower heat and simmer for five minutes, stirring frequently. All right, so we have water, we have cornstarch, which I think is the same thing as agar powder, except for it's like from corn. Ew, not corn. Okay. A cup of water. Where's that measuring cup go? Okay. One cup of water. I think I poured too much. There we go. And a gar. Two tablespoons of a gar. Okay. 